thanks for watching y'all i've lived in florida for eight months now like how have i lived here that long it does not feel like it's been eight months i feel like i just moved here i'm gonna be giving you guys my update on what it's been like living here and how i feel about it now if i'll be going back all the things so if you are considering moving to florida i hope this can help you and if you're someone that moved out of state from the north like i did i moved from michigan and you are here in florida leave me a comment down below and let me know some things that you have learned from florida as well maybe we can you know chat it up all right so let's see here <laughs> i moved here in august and that's during hurricane season it rained every day for a month straight no lie not kidding it rained downpoured for that entire month and i was like what the heck i thought this was the sunshine state no it's the rainy state during the hurricane seasons um but that ends in november so i'm in north east florida so here it does get pretty cold there were a few days this past winter where it was down in the 20s so yes northern florida does get cold and i know even parts of southern florida were pretty cold too uh, so that's a thing it still is definitely winter here just no snow <laughs> okay lizards are everywhere like little ones medium-sized ones big ones lizards are everywhere i'm so not used to seeing them they're everywhere um i've had to google a lot um for example today i had to google what is the black blue bug in florida turns out it's something called a mud wasp like what is that <laughs> what is that um apparently they're harmless good thing because they were in my screened in balcony how they got in there i don't know it's supposed to be screened in for a reason to keep those things out um so anyways, there's that. Um, speaking of that, a lot of balconies, patios are screened in because of all the bugs, all the lizards. You definitely want to keep those out. <laughs> so my balcony is thankfully screened in, which is nice because the cats love being out there. Um, so that's the thing that I'm not used to. Another thing I'm not used to is a lot of the neighborhoods, apartment complexes um, are gated. And that's something I'm not used to either um, back home really only the gated communities are like your celebrity really um ritzy neighborhoods like in detroit or you know gosh i don't even think we had even a gated community back in my entire city now that i think of it and here even my apartment complex is a gated community and most of them are so almost everyone that i've met has been from another state it is very very rare to find somebody that was born and raised is, is a true floridian um it's a huge melting pot here and there's a ton of people from different countries different states all over the u.s like it's been interesting meeting a lot of people that i have so far with that said there are a lot of crazy drivers there's a ton of traffic all the time people drive nuts there's definitely just crazy drivers here a ton of traffic backups all the time there's definitely times that i don't go out in areas that i avoid because the traffic and just the drivers are so bad here Another really cool thing about Florida is that they have no state income taxes. So if you come from a state like Michigan, like I did, and you had state taxes taken out of your, your check, um, with here you get a little bit more money back into your bank account, so that's really nice. There also are a ton of companies and businesses always hiring. I have a LinkedIn account and I'm constantly getting updates and connections and seeing job postings for the industry um, and that I'm in or I'm interested in trying to find clients and such. So I am always seeing stuff. I think we all know that moving is expensive and it's something that if you are looking to move, you should definitely prepare for. <laughs> but cost of living right now, everywhere is pretty high. Everything is pretty inflated, unfortunately. Um, but cost of living in the area that I'm at seems to be about average from what I've seen. Now, other areas of Florida are way, way more. Um, but you can definitely find reasonable living and good, safe, beautiful areas. Um, I can definitely testify to that. So speaking of beautiful areas, almost everywhere you turn, there's beautiful scenery, flowers and palm trees and bushes and trees and so much vibrancy. And the, the beach, of course, like the beach is phenomenally beautiful. Beautiful sunsets, beautiful sunrises. It truly is paradise here and it's so, so beautiful. So for my eight month update of living in Florida, 
when I first moved here, I think I touched on this in my last video, no, my second to last video, my like update video. Whew. When I first moved here, I struggled. I was homesick. I was super emotional. I went through some things and it was not at all what I expected. Um, the best piece of advice that almost everyone gave me was give it time. Hang in there. Things will get better. And I agree. I thousand percent agree. Um, it took me a few months to adjust and acclimate, but I really, really did. And I'm in a much better place than I was when I first moved down here. I'm enjoying Florida and everything that it has to offer. And I'm getting connected and I've met some really awesome people. And I'm so thankful to have the people in my life that I do. Um, Florida is beautiful. It definitely is different, especially if you're from the North or even the West. Um, but I made the commitment to try it out for X amount of time. I'm still within that time frame, but so far I am adjusting really well. I still am homesick and I miss a lot about home, but I can visit anytime I want to and everything is still there. If you are homesick, if you're struggling with something, hang in there, give it time. Um, get involved with, for me, it helped getting involved with the church and a church group and meeting people that were around my age that were like-minded, getting involved with the gym and activities and just different groups. Um, there's a ton of groups on Facebook. I met a lot of people through my family, friends, and my sister's friends. And um, so just put yourself out there, get involved to get into things that bring you joy or you like to do. Um, I found some really beautiful trails and parks and the beaches. Um, there's always just something that you can find in an area that brings you joy or that you like to do. So get involved, put yourself out there and like, do things to just make you enjoy. Like if you like the beach, go to the beach. If you like to go for a run, go for a run every day. If you like the gym, go and try out a few gyms. I know a lot of gyms have like a free um, pass that you can have for a day. So find a church, get involved with like-minded people. You will definitely find your group and find your clique. And I think that's what it's about. So um, yeah, overall, I'm very happy that I am where I'm at now. Things truly do work out full circle. And I'm thankful I've seen God move in my life and has, have his hand on this move and where I'm at now. And so I give all my thanks to the Lord. He always has a plan for you, y'all. He always has a plan for each and every one of you guys. I've seen it in my own life and I've seen it in countless other people's lives and I promise he's moving in your life too. So, all right, that is my eight month update of living in Florida, what I've learned, what I've realized, how I feel, <laughs> where I'm gonna go moving forward. <laughs> Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful. If you haven't subscribed already, please do hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell. All of my links to all my socials are down below. I have a blog, I'm on Instagram. That's the best place to find me to get daily updates. Um, and I've been on and popping on the gram for a minute, if you know what I mean. So check out my Instagram. Why am I rambling? I don't know. Anyways, all I have to say is if you want to do something, do it. Do it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna stop talking now. I love you guys so much, and I will see you very soon in a brand new video. Bye.